us over to Paris now and have Kola Daniel join us. Uh, Kola Daniel is a media aide to the Minister of Sports and Development, Senator John Eno. Kola is in Paris, uh, right there where the games is taking place. Uh, good morning, uh, Kola. Good to have you on ADBN Sports. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get that uh, sorted out uh, with uh, Kola uh, to have him, of course, join us uh, this morning uh, on the show to share his thoughts with us. He's with the minister, of course, right there in Paris. Uh, they've uh, visited the athletes. Uh, they've gone to a number of the events uh, where Team Nigeria, of course, is um, uh, chasing medals to... Uh, okay, we have Kola now. Uh, good morning, Kola. Good to have you on ADBN Sport this... Um, um, Tuesday morning. Good morning. Good to have me this hour of the day. Yes. Now, uh, Kola, of course, uh, is a media aide to the Minister of Sports Development right there in Paris, of course, with the Honorable Minister uh, leading the charge for Team Nigeria to come home with as many medals as possible. Now, Kola, today is a great day for us. We have potential uh, medals that Team Nigeria can win. Favor of Philly, blessing of Buru Dudu. Uh, where is the confidence like in the camp of Team Nigeria and among the officials, uh, the ministers' camp also, about uh, these two athletes putting Nigeria on the podium today? I think, uh, first and foremost, um, the camp of the Team Nigeria has been basking in the euphoria of, of motivation when it comes to all allowances paid. Talking about the local grant and the foreign grant has been paid for both local athletes and foreign athletes. Starting from the local camping to the foreign camping, non, all the athletes presently in Paris, no one is in their pay to when it comes to allowances. And that has put some yeah, majority of them in the right frame of mind ahead of podium performances. Um, good to know that we have two athletes today that will be just in for me that finish the likes of favor of philly and as well blessing of buru dudu these two uh, athletes have actually come a long way in terms of their respective sports uh blessing of buru dudu got to the final in the last edition where she actually won silver medal but this time around uh, all her eyes are set on bruce medal it's never laid down um getting a medal maybe she will be the first athlete that will give him nigeria the first medal today or favor of Philly. Don't forget today, AC Brumet will be on the screen today. Yeah. And one might be thinking, uh, appearance, I will not be the same before. And as well, she has um, won. Um, okay. Uh, of about uh, and that our experience we can't in the last edition. She wants. Okay. Well, hopefully, we can uh, get uh, uh, Color back as soon as possible. Uh, so, of course, uh, favor of Philly, blessing of Buru Dudu. Uh, two athletes that um, we are really hoping can uh, land Team Nigeria medals today. Uh, the women's long jump also will be up and running today. Uh, the likes of Ace Brume, of course, will be there. Three Nigerians actually will be there, uh, right there. Uh, uh, let's see if uh, Kola is back now. Uh, Kola, you can continue from uh, where you stopped, talking about uh, the likes of Ace Brume also uh, in the women's long jump event. Are you there? Yes, yes. Go on, Kola. Uh, I, I said it's, it's a Brumen. Um, Our experience with Shirley come today. She's an athlete that has been consistent for over the years. She has actually shown that, yes, she can hold her own in a big stage like this, which she, which she did in the last edition, where she actually won a bronze medal. Um, and this time around, one might be thinking she can surpass that record of ours and proceed either to a gold medal or silver medal. And that will be what uh, all uh, AC Brumet faithful will be looking at. Then, Toby Amusa will be on Paris tomorrow, um, yeah. uh, world record holder, one of who have actually showcased what she can do in a big stage at the World Athletic Championship in Oregon, Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, and Africa Athletic Championship in Douala. She has done, uh, she has actually performed incredibly well. She has a remarkable performance, and one might be thinking, this is the time for her to eat it big in a, in a tournament like this, Olympic. Toby Amundsen, Bless No Bru Dudu, Favor Philly, uh, Ese Brume, Chikeze, one might be thinking, this is where the medal lies. 
and by God's grace, the hour has come. We're still hopeful. We we remain resolute that that three medals that can as well surpass three good medals that can as well surpass the record. We are close. We are at the top step of it, and by God's grace and with prayers of Nigerians, we can as well pick three good medals. Um, so past 1996 Six, Olympic good, Olympic record. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just quickly, I know you have quite a busy schedule in Paris. Uh, just quickly, two quick questions. Uh, you are with the Honorable Minister in Paris. He has been to a number of um, the venues to cheer up our athletes. What has been his message to them? Uh, even up to now that we've not won a medal yet, what has been his message? Then number two, what, are, what is the latest he update on me. the favor of Philly issue? Uh, since you are on ground there with, with the minister on countless occasions regarding the athlete not to be, get distracted uh, let, uh, i think uh, from my from my dex the media team of the minister will be like turning out the statement coming from the minister saying the athlete should not be distracted they should remain resolute it is um for the father who have a shaky start do not mean that at the end of the game okay. it is not over until it is over they, they will still have some days this is the level of yeah. the olympics and we see our uh, athlete that can as well win medals. So all we need to, uh, like what he said to them, you just remain resolute, don't get distracted. Favor of Philly issue will be sorted out after the game, after the tournament proper. Investigation is on. Well, and I, I, I do hope that uh, the, anyone find what, according to the Honorable Minister, will not go unpunished, so that uh, that will serve a deterrent to all these. So no lapses, no excuse should be um, given in a world stage like this, in a tournament proper like this, in a tournament where all eyes are on Nigerians, all eyes are on those who are actually the gladiators of the game. So I think by and large, the minister has actually shown sense of commitment as has, uh, he has proved that is passionate about sport development in Nigeria, not just winning medals with the way and manner he has gone about his lines of activities. I, as I speak with you, he is in Paris. He yeah. goes from different venues to another to ensure he's part of, he gives his support to different athletes. He works from, um, from uh, boxing to wrestling, from wrestling to the track and field event, to the indoors game. That's massive. There's no better way his, his sport minister can support uh, his darling team than this. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Kola Daniel, for your time on the program this morning. Uh, do have a great uh, day in Paris. And the best of luck, of course, to Team Nigeria. Uh, we are waiting, of course, to celebrate uh, the achievements of the team and to uh, have Nigeria's anthem, of course, uh, ringing out uh, in Paris. Uh, thank you so much for your time on the show.